हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू आर हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट योर होम सो टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द टू सम प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट सो गिवन एन इंटीजर नम्स एंड अ इंटीजर टारगेट वी नीड टू रिटर्न द इंडिसेस ऑफ टू नंबर सच दैट दे एड अप टू द टारगेट so let's understand this with the example one so nums is a number array and target is just a number and then output should be the index of two numbers that add up to target like 7 and 2 here add up to 9 so we return the index of them that is 0 and 1 similarly in the example 2 we have nums as 3 2 and 4 and target is 6 so 6 would be 4 plus 2 that is index 1 and index 2 of the array so the output is 1 and 2 now we have a condition that we can assume that each input has exactly one solution that means that in an array there won't be a situation like the nums array has 3 3 and 2 and 4 like there are two results for the same set of input so that won't be the case it would have only one solution for this target so as usual let's divide our solution into steps so step 1 would be iterating through the array step 2 would be to check for a given integer if there is another integer which as a pair forms the target here this step 2 we would be doing through object map now simple solution would be two for loops but it has order of n square time complexity because of the two for loops so we are going through this object map solution here the object map solution would have time complexity as order of n and the space complexity would also be order of n so let's declare our two sum function first which we are declaring as a arrow function here and we pass the parameter nums and target now for the first step we will first create a memory that is an empty object and then to iterate through the nums array we will just define a for loop which runs till the length of nums array then step 2 would be creating the object map so for creating the object map we will check if the type of value inside the memory that is memory nums of i is undefined then to the memory target minus nums of i we will assign a value i or else we will return memory nums of i and i so this i'll explain a bit later but uh, this is our simple solution just four lines of code now we will call this to some function and assign its value to another variable with our example parameters now we do a console log of value so here we have defined the function so this is function declaration and then we call the function below so this is function call now we will run node to sum and as you can see value 0 and 1 is getting printed so that is the correct answer now let's try to understand how we arrived at this solution 
so how actually the steps are working so first we define a empty memory object so that we have defined here now we have a nums array that is a array of integers and a target step 2 we will iterate through the nums array so first i is equal to 0 and nums of i is equal to 2 we'll do a type check so type of memory nums of i is equal to undefined here nums of i is true so memory of 2 is already undefined so that is true and so we assign memory target minus nums of i is equal to i so here target is 9 nums of i is 2 so memory nums of 9 minus 2 that is 7 is equal to i that is 0 now we loop through the array so the i is incremented by 1 now the value of i is 1 and nums of i is 7 now again we do the type check type of memory nums of i is undefined so here memory nums of i is memory of 7 now since we already have 0 in memory of 7 so it is not undefined so we will go to the else part so else would return memory nums of i comma i so memory nums of i that is memory of 7 and 1 so memory of 7 is 0 and 1 will be returned so this is how we arrive at the solution a very easy solution to arrive at if you have already done this but if you are seeing this problem for the first time then you would be thinking of applying a double for loop which is not so good in terms of time complexity yeah so that was it for today's video see you next time thank you bye